We've been getting a lot of questions in on what we're doing to stay in shape while we're at home, getting workouts in. Frankly, I'm doing a lot of the same stuff I'd be doing in the gym, just doing some slight modifications for being at home in my basement. Um, so walk you through a few of these exercises and then you can implement them at home. Something I love to do in the gym is, is squatting. So um, I do have a, a light kettlebell here and I'll kind of walk you through some of the stuff I've been doing at home to keep that movement going. Um, so with this kettlebell, I'm gonna hold it at about chest level. Uh, I like to go with my feet a little bit wider than uh, shoulder width apart, uh, pointing my toes slightly out at an angle. And then uh, my goal is to have the inside of my knee go over my pinky toe. So I'm really gonna sit back, let my knees kind of go out, keeping my chest up, keeping the weight up, and then come back up. Don't necessarily need to go like all the way down because when I show the side angle, uh, you see what happens to your back. I'm trying to keep a nice flat spine as I come down, get to about 90 degrees in my knees, and coming back up from the side, driving down, keep a nice flat back, driving straight up. So coming all the way down, you can see my back starts to arc, not so good, keep it at 90 degrees, come back up. Another one I like to do at the gym are our reverse lunges, and I'll show you a little bit of advanced move of that as well. Um, so again, let me keep the weight um, either in my, up at my chest, or I will have in the opposite hand if I'm just working one leg, which I'll show you in a second. So if I'm just working, alternating, I'm gonna be stepping back, 90, 90. Again, trying to keep my knee over my ankle, and alternate. The advanced move, I'm gonna grab a chair. I'm gonna put my back leg on the chair and all the weight is gonna be in my front leg. At this point, I can hold the weight in the opposite leg, sinking down. Again, getting to 90, trying to keep the bench up. Keeping my ankle over my knee, driving straight back up. If you can, lift this back leg so you know you're not leaving much weight on that back leg. Another great one to do at home is a straight leg deadlift where we're working our, mostly our hamstrings and our glutes. Um, so when we do this, we're gonna hit, hinge at our hips. So my spine is gonna stay straight from basically my hips to the top of my head. And then I'm gonna stay from that same point through my ankles where things just stay straight and you kind of turn into a uh, figure set, if you will. So I'm gonna lean forward, my hips go back as I drive back up, getting to about parallel to the ground. Now the more advanced version of this would be a single leg RDL. Um, for this one, it's a little bit easier with the weight in my opposite hand. So from here, I'm gonna be standing on my right leg. I'm gonna try and keep a straight line from the top of my head all the way through my left heel. So I'm gonna come down, it's great for balance. Come back up, really trying to keep my hips flat. What we don't want to see is that hip spline out. And I'll show you on this side. So again, we want to stay nice and flat. Really forcing this hip to drive towards the ground. We do not want to open up having this weight in the opposite hand. Kind of help you do that. Again, staying nice and tall through our torso. Another great one to implement at home are bridges. So I'm gonna get down on my back, on the floor here, bring my heels in close to my body, and I'm gonna drive my hips up in the air, making a straight line from my shoulders to my knees. When I do this, I do not wanna be dumping weight into my neck or my head. All my uh, upper body weight is into my shoulder blades. If these become easy, we can add weight, we can go to one leg, or we can grab the chair again and move that heel onto the chair with that opposite leg up and driving through. I can be done with or without weight as well. Going over a bunch of lower body exercises for upper body while I'm home, kind of just keeping it simple. I've been doing a lot of push-ups. Um, and a little bit of shoulder pressing with, with that kettlebell as well. So um, most of us 
know how to do a push-up or we think we know how to do a push-up, just want to go over some basics real quick. Um, first off, we always want to make sure that we're engaging our core. Um, you should have a, a slight pelvic tilt forward so that your back kind of rounds um, when we do this. So when I get down in this push-up position, a lot of people tend to sink into our, into our lower back. When we do those push-ups, we don't want to do that. We want to keep our, our hips up, keep that slight round. Personally, I like to go with my hands shoulder width apart, and then I'm, my goal is to keep my elbows at the bottom of my sternum. Gets a little bit more activation through our triceps as well. We do not really want to go out to the side. Dumps a lot of weight into our shoulders. Not as much work in our chest and back. Here's if we stay a little bit narrow. For an adjustment, we can always drop our knees to build up. Or again, if it's, you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, you can grab that chair again to elevate your, your feet. Still keeping that same run through the back, keeping my elbows going to the bottom of my sternum. It puts more weight into that push. Final exercise I'm going to go over with you guys today is uh, the shoulder press that I've been doing with this kettlebell. So just kind of the basic way of doing it. Uh, I'm going to keep about 90 in my armpit, 90 degrees in my elbow, and push straight. Really important when we do these, um, first off that we pull our shoulders back, down and away from our ears. Uh, really locking the, those shoulder blades in. When we're doing this, we got to keep level shoulders, level hips. We don't want to be leaning into the weight or leaning down because of the weight. We want to stay nice and uh, stable through our core. A few advanced pieces for this. If you have something like a kettlebell, you can flip it over. Just adds a little bit of stability and challenge into that. A step further would be to lift up one foot and then keep that stability as we go through. So since I've been working at home, a lot of this is a little bit more on the lightweight side, but can still be pretty challenging. I've been working to do more circuits and doing these exercises one after another. This gets your heart rate up, gets nice burn going through your legs uh, and upper body when you're doing all these exercises properly. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna be aiming for five reps and five sets. So uh, I'm going to do five squats, five lunges on each leg, five of those RDLs or those straight leg deadlifts on each leg, five bridges, five push-ups, five shoulder presses each leg. Ideally, if I can, I'm going to go right into that next set and do that five times. At home, build up. Maybe do one or two of those exercises, take 30 seconds. One or two more exercises, 30 seconds. And, and do it that way. Uh, for me personally, I like keep my heart rate up. This helps me do that. And just doing these exercises in conjunction with each other and just keeping the motor going helps me be really efficient and get a lot of work done quickly, but also gets me a, a pretty good at-home workout and, uh, that I feel like I'm not missing a ton of stuff since I can't go to the gym right now. So um, I'm gonna try and do this and stay as strict as I can with going through it. Might get a little entertainment out of it. Uh, because it, it does get pretty pretty challenging and tired as we get going on. So, wish me luck. All right, here we go. Burning our rip.
on that. I already feel the sweat coming. Something to do with this, try and go back to back. So I just finished on my left leg with those lunges. I'm going straight into my left leg with these RDLs. Yeah, that's one for the blooper reel. So same thing, just finished on my right. I'm gonna start with my right on these bridges. Oops.
Not a blooper reel. That wraps up that circuit. As you can see, I'm a little, a little sweaty, a little out of breath. Uh, got a lot of work in, in about 12 minutes. Um, so again, working pretty hard, pretty efficient. Kept my heart rate above like 120 that whole time after the first set, really. Um, but again, use those modifications if you need to. Feel free to just do a few of those exercises, maybe just do the lunges and those straight leg deadlifts together superset those which means back to back on those exercises then take a rest just build yourself up you're not not expecting everybody to to do it like that um if you can awesome challenge yourself to do it you don't need to necessarily need any extra weight you can do all these exercises with just your body um body weight exercises are really challenging and really humbling um especially once you get going in those circuits man those uh those squats and those lunges and those rdls get get pretty tough pretty quick so uh challenge yourself feel free to 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 ask us any questions you need in the comments or uh hit us up on social media and, and uh, i'll be happy to help you guys out um keep working hard even though we're stuck at home